In 2019, the Islamic Republic is commemorating its 40th anniversary. But in reality, I'm not so sure that the Islamic Republic has much to celebrate. Some of the most fundamental mechanisms that are at place in democracies are absent in the Islamic Republic of Iran. Something as fundamental as political succession, a well-ordered procedure which secures transition from one leader to the other. This, of course, is because that in the Islamic Republic of Iran, more often than not, political realities dictate the law rather than the political practice respecting the well-ordered legal procedure, which, of course, secures survival of the regime and transfer of power from one leader to the other. Let's take a look at the first leader of the Islamic Republic, Grand Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, who from his exile in Paris promised the people of Iran that Iran would not have a clerical regime after the success of the revolution. However, as soon as the monarchy was overthrown in February 1979, Grand Ayatollah Khomeini changed his opinion and created the world's first theocratic republic. Once Grand Ayatollah Khomeini was too weak and Ayatollah Khamenei and some of his associates were trying to take over his place, they did not respect the law. They changed the law so the requirements for becoming the leader of Iran were no longer that the head of state had to be a source of emulation. They changed it to just a person knowledgeable of uh, the Islamic law so that Mr. Khamenei could become the leader of Iran. Just as Mr. Khomeini before him first took power and retroactively changed the legislation so it could legitimize his power, Mr. Khamenei did exactly the same thing. First, he secured political power on the ground. Next, he moved to legitimize his power by retroactively changing the legislation. I expect that this time around, succession process after Mr. Khamenei is going to be just like before. First, we are going to see who will prevail in the factional struggle for power in the Islamic Republic. After that leader has been found, the Islamic Republic will retroactively change the legal process and the legislation so the next leader will also be the legal leader of the Islamic Republic. I also expect that next time around, we will be seeing total transformation of the Islamic Republic from a theocracy, a system in which the Shia clergy holds power in the country, into, in reality, a military dictatorship led by the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, an institution which is no longer just an army, but is, for all practical purposes, the de facto rulers of Iran and the most dominant factor in political life, in economy, and even in cultural life of the Islamic Republic. And this is the sad story of the Islamic Republic, which in the course of the four decades managed to degenerate from a theocracy into a military dictatorship.